Thank, thank you, Steve. Good morning, everybody, and again, thanks for coming out today. And it's going to be a busy start to a, a racetrack build to get ready for the, for the Grand Prix at the uh, 25th, 26th, 27th of February. So starting today, you can we actually hear beeping in the background. We've already got grandstands underway, but the actual racetrack build officially starts today, um, along with our, our, te our temporary marina. It doesn't happen without a lot of collaboration with the city, with Mayor Welch, the City Council and the City Administration team. We have a great cooperation, especially with the City Administration team, led by Chris Alastra, Tony Lena and Paul Stelrek. We also are very privileged to have a great build team of our own. They've had a lot of experience building not only this racetrack, but the Toronto racetrack and operating our other racetracks around the country. So they're led by Stephen Timms and Jim Torrio. And they're really the key to an efficient bill. We, we work very, very closely on a, an agreed timeline with the city administration to make sure we get the racetrack built with a minimal amount of inconvenience to the, to the city and the businesses. So we'll have the racetrack ready for race week and then post race week, our plan will be to be off the streets of St. Petersburg in six days and that get everything back to, back to normal. We also have a great uh, build partner in Todd Steps and Steps Transportation. They not only do our safety trucks for the race, but they transport all of our uh, concrete block and fence. And we'll be transporting about 20 million pounds of concrete block for the 1.8 mile racetrack. There's about 18,000 feet of the paneling you see here that goes up on top of the, the, the uh, safe, as known as the safety fence. The temporary marina is going in as we speak as well and uh, that's always a very popular place for, for boats to come in. We've got a, a sold out situation, a very nice floating cocktail bar at the east end of the docks which is very, very popular. We, we cannot also get this race done without our volunteers and we have over 500 volunteers signed up to help us execute race week. Many of them, and some of them are here today, many of them, especially our team leaders, were here for the first race in 2005. And so it's a, it's a testament to that, that group of folks that really help us uh, get the race on. They're the front, uh, front and center people in their volunteer shirts that the fans get to see and get questions asked about where do I go, where do I, where do I sit, etc. So we cannot do without them. Big thanks to them. Along with IndyCar, we're also working on some exciting uh, things race week, um, which those announcements will come later, especially on Saturday afternoon. Along with IndyCar, we hope to uh, uh, give something back to all the fans in St. Petersburg, in downtown St. Pete, Pete, and we'll be announcing details on that very, very soon. I live here in St. Petersburg, so I've got the privilege of uh, enjoying this weather. Um, and I was in Nashville on the weekend and it was chilly. I was glad to get back here Saturday afternoon. There's a real positive buzz around town about the 2022 NTT IndyCar racing season starting here in St. Pete. So I'm excited. We've got a lot of work to do in the next few weeks, but I'm very confident in the team we've got around us. It's now my honor and my pleasure to introduce the 54th Mayor of St. Petersburg, Ken Welch. Thank you. Thank you, Kim, and good morning. I'm excited to be here with you today as we prepare for the most exciting event that our city hosts, the Firestone Grand Prix weekend. The sights, the sounds, the smell of powerful engines, the engineering, and the skill of the drivers and teams, it's a really an incredible experience. My thanks to Green Savory Racing Promotions for bringing this race to St. Petersburg for the 18th year. And y'all might notice this wonderful weather. I, I think uh, city council takes credit for that. I do want to recognize uh, council member Ed Montanari. Thank you for the weather, sir. Uh, to Kim and Kevin, after COVID-19 caused a seven month postponement of our March 2020 race weekend, then another delay in 2021. I know that we are all elated to be standing here today, about to build the first block of the race course and for St. Petersburg to again host the kickoff race of the 2022 IndyCar Series. I also want to recognize Mark Miles, CEO of IndyCar Racing, who is with us today. 
Our thanks to RP Funding for presenting this 2022 Firestone Grand Prix weekend. Mr. Palmer, your support enables thousands of St. Pete and Tampa Bay residents to experience the thrill of IndyCar racing in person. The Firestone Grand Prix of St. Petersburg has seen an approximate 29% increase in attendance from 2013 through 2017, with record crowds attending the event in both 2018 and 2019. COVID permitting, we expect record crowds to return this year. We anticipate the economic impact of the Grand Prix weekend to the city to be about $40 million, and millions of viewers will watch NBC's live national broadcast of, Fire, of the Firestone Grand Prix. The aerial shots of IndyCar's most picturesque race course, weaving along the waterfront, past our parks and our museums, our growing downtown skyline and beautiful Tampa Bay shimmering in the background, will attract new visitors and residents to St. Petersburg and Tampa Bay. And as a longtime member of the County Commission and the Tourist Development Council, I can tell you that that worldwide exposure that the Firestone Grand Prix brings to our city and our area is invaluable. In about three weeks, IndyCar drivers like Kyle Kirkwood, Celine Royan, and Jason Bell, who are with us today or on the way, will weave their 700 horsepower racing machines. They still won't let me drive one, so uh, I'm jealous but they'll weave those 700 horsepower racing machines through the track's 14 turns and then accelerate down the straightaways on the street course we start to build today. I'm excited. Let's get to work. Thank you. Thank you. This is Ham and Egg. Um, we've been working together since, I think, 1996. We are very different, but very alike, and, and certainly build a fantastic team around us to help us put these events on. Thanks, Kim, and uh, obviously welcome everyone. And uh, Mayor Welch, if you come back up for just a second. Uh, we're, we're pleased to offer to Mayor Welch that uh, he's, he's graciously accepted to be the Grand Marshal for this year's Firestone Grand Prix presented by RP Funding. And so uh, you need to start practicing up. Gentlemen, start your engines, and so uh, thank you so much. We'll work on it. It's uh, an honor. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So um, again, you know, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Um, through our our marketing media folks, we've got we've got a couple of special guests here today that were part of the uh, 10, 10 days of giveaways. Um, Eric Frazier and Daisy Quinn, are you here? somewhere I hope well anyway they uh, they won some special prizes for this year's Firestone Grand Prix presented by RP funding um, we'll look forward to having them out here again some of some of our colleagues that are here today uh, Giles Dowden Ryan Cash um, not sure who else uh, obviously Steve Bidlack that you've met uh, again for Kim and I they uh, Jim Terrio's one <clears throat> wandering around back there trying to hide uh, such an integral part of, of helping to build our racetrack. So again, thanks so much for everything that those guys do for us. From IndyCar, we have um, Michael Montry. Uh, again, he, uh, he gets stuck working with uh, Kim and Kevin more than, more than he wants. When we were riding over here a little while ago, I um, actually said to him, I said, you know, I'm still trying to figure out, was Roger mad at you or what when uh, he, got, he got asked to uh, take over the responsibility for dealing with promoters and TV and obviously it's a huge responsibility and thanks so much Michael for everything you do for us um, and fish is with us today again um, very talented uh, person that works with IndyCar and also works with with the promoters and I uh, had the pleasure this morning of meeting lazy Azar who has joined um, IndyCar Pinsky entertainment to uh, work with government relations and community affairs so it's a good day for her to be here to meet to meet everyone. So thanks for being here, Letty. Um, finally, Robert Palmer, thanks so much for being a part of our event. Uh, I can remember months ago having a Zoom call with him, and uh, you know you could feel the excitement of how he wanted to be involved in our event, what he felt like he could bring to our event to help us grow to that next step. And I think that's something that Kim and I have always looked for in our partnerships is. 
you know, we continue to grow Green Savory is, you know, we've been blessed over many, many years of having great partners that help us, um, you know, do what we love to do. And, and uh, again, we're just blessed to have such a great partner as RP Funding here. Finally, you know, part of what we do in this city is obviously to give back and a couple of the initiatives that, that we've had over the years is the Police Athletic League and, um, you know, we're taking another pause on the 5K this year. Obviously, uh, with the rescheduling that happened, we ended up scheduling uh, our race weekend on the same day that there's a, a pretty huge running event in Tampa. So the idea of having a conflicting running event on that weekend doesn't really work, but We'll look forward to um, participating and, and contributing to the Police Athletic League, which uh, to date we've, we've donated about a quarter of a million dollars to over the years. And uh, then also the folks from uh, Carding for Kids are here and we'll have that event across the way in Bradenton and they support all children's hospitals. So thanks for being here, guys. Um, you know, again, I think the mayor touched on it, but obviously one of the things that, you know, as a, as a company we really worked on this year was trying to schedule this event so that we could be the first event and be on NBC. And through the cooperation of, uh, you know, Mayor Kreisman and, and uh, City Council, we were able to get our event rescheduled. And obviously uh, a big thank you to the team at Mahaffey Theater as they work with us in really trying to schedule around our event and and they completely understand so a big thank you to bill edwards and joe santiago and all the team at the happy theater for everything they've done to work with us to you know overcome what we had to overcome to get our event rescheduled on nbc so uh, obviously thrilled about that and uh, the economic impact that it brings not only to the city but to uh, to the area and and finally uh to mayor welch his administration and the entire team a huge thank you from everyone here at Green Savory for everything that you do for us and we're looking forward to getting 2022 kicked off uh, with, a, with a great start. Now it's my pleasure to um, introduce uh, a great friend and, and somebody that I consider you know somebody that I really look up to uh, from a business perspective of what he's done to uh, build IndyCar into into what it is, Mark Miles. Good morning, everybody. I can tell you that there are countless reasons that we're glad to be here this morning. Maybe the least of which is that when we left Indianapolis, it was single digit temperatures. <laughs> and, and here we are. Uh, if you all think this is cool, come visit us anytime you want. Uh, but the real reasons that, that matter that we're pleased to be here is that the whole of the IndyCar nation, as we think of it, is ready to race. And um, it's, it's especially exciting for us to get through two years of schedule impacted pandemic and to be starting our 2022 championship here again in St. Petersburg, where it's meant to start, because we can't think of a better place to get the nation and the world's attention. NBC will get through the Olympics and get through their broadcast of the Super Bowl, and they will be very focused on showing those images that the mayor mentioned. Uh, there are 200 other countries in which your shiny waters and streets and uh, cultural uh, assets will be shown, and then there'll be great racing. And so this is the place for us to start, and we're, we're really disappointed the last couple of years that it wasn't possible, but thrilled that we can come back. Another reason that really matters to us, we, we've all been involved in organizing other events, is this is a very special place in terms of the reception that we're given. And that we know is not just because of the support of prior mayors and now delightfully Mayor Welch, but the private-public partnership with Kim and Kevin and the city and, and the, the council that comes together. Our ambition was to, I've been involved for 10 years, it's always been to make sure that this becomes an event that's part of the civic calendar, the fabric of a year in St. Petersburg, Florida, and in the area. And we really, it's for you to decide, but it sure feels to us like we've gotten to that place. And so for us to get here and for you to, to uh, welcome us again is, is really important. And it only happens because of Mayor Welch, his, his administration and the council. 
and the relationship they have with our excellent promoters. So we're, we can't wait. Um, I wish it was this weekend, but I guess we probably have a little work to do before we're ready to race entirely. And uh, please know that when we come back, we'll do everything that's required of us, and uh, we expect to put on a great race. Thank you. I guess it's now my thank you. So representing the IndyCar drivers here is Kyle Kirkwood, who doesn't live too far away in Florida. Somebody call him a rookie, but he's been on a podium here before. It's just he's going to be a rookie in this time. Uh, yeah, any number of times, but he'll be making his IndyCar race debut here in St. Pete, and I know he's very excited about that. Kyle is an Indy Lights champion, and we can't wait to see what he can do uh, this year in IndyCar. Kyle, come on up. Morning, everyone. So those of you that don't know me, I'm Kyle Kirkwood. I'll be driving AJ Floyd's number 14 Rocket Chevrolet. And this is actually not the first time I've been up here. I've driven this event. This will be my fourth year driving here on the Straits of St. Petersburg. And previously I drove here in USF 2000, Indy Pro 2000, and Indy Lights. And I've won here a couple times and I've been on the podium a few times. So it's a very nice place for me to come back. And starting the 2022 season here is absolutely phenomenal. I've came here, started here a few times. Obviously the past two years, we haven't been able to kick off the season here. But early on in February, the weather's great, people are great, fans are awesome. And probably the most common question that we get as drivers is, where's your favorite place to go? And I always say St. Petersburg, Florida, because it's home for me. I live in Jupiter, Florida. It's a quick drive to get over here. I don't have to take a flight. And just the event is so awesome. A lot of it's due to the track characteristics. You know, we come out here onto the runway, we go through down, downtown St. Petersburg, come right by the water, like we're in Monaco pretty much, with all the boats and all the tourists coming here for St. Petersburg. And, but yeah, this is an awesome race. I can't wait to get this year kicked off here in St. Petersburg. A massive thank you to everyone standing behind me. They're the ones that put on this show. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing going. Good morning, everyone. Celine Rian here, and this is a beautiful MX-5 Cup car. And what makes our series beautiful is all these cars are the same. They're all built from Cliff Performance in Daytona Beach. I'm actually from Orlando, so this event is, is perfect for me. I also am a commercial pilot. I actually flew in this morning. So this track, this beautiful track, doubles as my favorite racetrack and my favorite airport. It's just a perfect way to fly in. This morning was a beautiful flight and I ran here from the FBO, so it's great. Our racing is fantastic. We bump a lot, we, bump, we bang a lot. We're probably gonna finish side by side, three wide on, on the runway, so definitely come out and watch our race. Uh, MX-5 Cup is the way to go, and hopefully we'll be racing one of these Ferraris one day, but definitely come watch our race. Don't forget about it, and thanks for coming out. Uh, good morning, uh, my name is Jason Bell. I race for GMG Racing. Um, I am from Tampa, Florida. Uh, last year was the first year of the GT America Series, was the inaugural season um, in GT. Th these kind of cars, we have Ferrari, Lamborghinis, uh, Porsche, uh, we have Aston Martins, we have, I mean, just anything you can think about. Chevy, I think we're actually gonna have some Camaros in the series this year. Uh, the series is growing. The GT America series is a mixed series where you have GT4 and GT3 cars. So it goes back to the original way the series started. So you'll have two different classes racing together. So there's a lot of strategy involved. Um, you know, obviously you gotta pick through the cars like that. So uh, last year was a great year. Um, we were disappointed the last two years. We didn't get to come to St. Pete. Two years ago, we were on the track and they, uh, pushed us off the track because of the pandemic. So this is gonna be great. This is my home racetrack. Uh, I love this place. Uh, I love St. Pete, I love Tampa. I think we have the best uh, fans, the best city, um, and it's just a great place to start their series. Um, so uh, we're looking forward to it. So uh, I hope everybody comes out and watches the race. Thanks, Steve. So uh, without further ado, it's uh, my pleasure to introduce Robert Palmer president of RP Funding, and just a huge thank you from uh, our company for uh, RP Funding joining. Good 
Yeah, I'm uh, honored and, and blessed and very excited to be a part of this event. You know, seeing the way that the city of St. Petersburg rallies around this event and really makes it part of their fabric is, is what excites us as a company. And that's the type of events we want to participate in, that we want to support and help bring attention to. And so you'll see in the coming weeks a very large uh, co-branded marketing campaign. We're going to take a significant amount of our marketing assets for RP funding and redirect them along the uh, I-4 corridor to help bring more awareness to this great event uh, so that we can hopefully drive bigger attendance, more excitement, and, and help this event continue to grow. Uh, it's amazing to see the transformation that this, this place will undertake. Uh, shortly here, we're gonna unveil the first block in this 1.8 mile track. Uh, but you know, standing here in what today is a parking lot and today is a runway, and to think in three or four weeks, uh, you know, cars will be zooming around this very fast turn uh, to uh, tens of thousands of cheering fans. So uh, very excited about the opportunity, looking forward to this partnership, and thanks everyone for coming out today. I think we're now gonna unveil this block and uh, get this construction project started. Thank you.